Hey, what is up, guys? Check Geeks HD here, and today we have with this is Sony Xperia T2 Ultra, and it has got the Android Lollipop 5.0 5.0 update. Now it's 700 MB update, and I've downloaded it. And let's check what's new in this. So now it's downloaded it. Now it's telling us to install. Now installation will take around 40 to 45 minutes. Uh, so wait for that till it install is done. So what approximately it will take 41 minutes at it's saying that. So let's press OK. So let's it will power off and then install. So here's the update done and I booted it up. So it took around 50 minutes totally to set up the whole process. And now it's totally on lollipop. It's based on material design. It looks very cool. It's very fine. It's fluid. Let me decrease the brightness a bit so that you can clearly see it. And here's the material design. As you can see that it's a Google launcher. We don't have the exterior launcher in this. And here's the notification of Android lollipop and let's go to settings and check the about the phone so here is the about the phone we'll go down and check that so here you can see that it's the android 5.0.2 lollipop i have revealed the sony 32 ultra previous year and it got the jelly bean update i suppose once so if you want you can check the unboxing also still after one year the device is performing strong it's a very good device There are many competitors to this device which have came, but there many can't beat this device till now. And if you are a tech lover, you can obviously subscribe to my channel, channel that's like Geeks HD. You will get more of videos like this. So here's the dialer. So get more cool stuff, cool videos like this. Subscribe to my channel. You can also hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So you can check what's happening there on my streaming channel. So you can do that too. So here, let's see how much amount of RAM is left on this. So I'm checking it. We have around 300 MB of RAM plus. So that's very nice. Before this, I was only just getting around 150 to 200 MB of RAM, and so also around 330 MB of 330 MB plus of RAM, which is very nice. So it helps in good multitasking. You can see that many of the applications are running. Then also the RAM is free, so that's nice. So yes, that was the overview of the same. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And I will catch you in my next video. Yeah.